I mean, what a remarkable experience. Michael McKinney, McKinney Motorsports, restored this uh, late 60s Falstead 4 cam Ford and invited me to drive it. My father had driven it and I gave it, gave it its best finish in 68 at Mont Tremblant behind uh, Mario Andretti for a second. Uh, cars famous for Jimmy Clark in the Rex Mays race, uh, late 67. Uh, spectacular car, what a sound. I forgot my earplugs the first run. Uh, I'll, I'll be deaf for, for months, but what a glorious sound. And, oh, there's no downforce in those things, no drag. And you put your foot up it, they accelerate. Let me tell you, it's impressive. How these guys drove these things for 500 miles, I have no idea. Yeah, looking at the history, I mean, that's, that's sort of the vision of one guy, all of Allstead. I mean, these guys laid these cars out in their garage and manufactured them. And, and you know, there's a one, maybe two guy, car, a guy operation. They bought a gearbox, they got an engine. And they built everything else and they brought it here to the speedway and they fitted it out. And driving around the speedway in this thing, you, you remind yourself, I've got Dallara chassis number 73 that I run for Justin Wilson. I'm driving Volstead Ford 1. There is one, not 73, there's one. And it's truly a privilege. I'm like a junkie, I'm ready for more, ready for more. Yeah, I'm gonna start to start beating the bushes a bit more. Tom Stefani owns the Nikki Chevrolet Vinegaroon Can-Am car that my dad drove in the USRC and Can-Am series back in the 60s. And he had made the offer to let me drive it a couple of years ago and I took a look at the car and I told him, Tom, if this thing didn't kill my dad, it's not getting a shot at me, okay? <laughs> You have, uh, you and Justin have done some really good work this year. Uh, does he have an appreciation not only for your personal and family history, but also uh, an appreciation for you being able to go out and uh, do something like this again on a Saturday when uh, it's going to be his turn Sunday? Uh, I really didn't sort of mention that. I think he's a little surprised I showed up on Friday in a driver's suit and he looked at me and said, what the hell, man? <laughs> so, I said, relax, relax, oh, I'm not after your job. Uh, but I explained to him what was going on and uh, uh, he seemed genuinely excited.